So we've witnessed history here at the National Stadium today, the first time ever for St. George Lions winning the boys title. Talk to me about the feeling. It's a sweet feeling. Um, hard work pays off. A lot of sacrifice on my part, on the boys' part, obviously. Evenings of some tears, <laughs> giving up playtime, but it was worth it. Yes. Talk to me about the preparation and training that you did with the boys. Well, as I always say, Zachary and Ethan, has, they have me in the strict uh, a, a, a non-disclosure agreement. I am not to disclose what we do. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of preparation, a lot of strength training. Um, Fine-tuning starts, uh, working on how to run in the lanes, that type of thing. Um, and then, you know, sometimes building um, the way how they are able to run a race and able to um, handle breathing all the way through that, that race. Being able to run without, you know, waning their, their, their strength, being able to continue all the way through, not being bothered about who's next to them, all these little things. So as they run, as they practice, we see little issues here and there and then we tweak them without, you know, making, because I find they are their own worst enemy. They, they pray themselves down. They don't like to lose. They don't like not doing well. So I have to be very, very aware as to how I say what I say. So we, you know, always look to keep it fun, keep it light, and remember that they're children and remember that this is for supposed to be a learning experience for them. How special is this one for St. George Lane? This is fantastic. This is the first time that we've um, been able to reach this far. Last year, we came first in his own but we got we came third no first in his own and first in the boys that's fantastic but we have been building as i tell the boys i want them to build a legacy there at st george a legacy of excellence in athletics and this is not the first year we've had boys that have been coming through for years uh jaquan pilgrim who's at st michael's now he was a proud well is a proud lion a, a proud uh, alumni of st george primary and we have Sarah Bell who has been doing well. So we are trying to let these children realize that as they can look and see children that have gone to school with them doing so well, they can say to themselves, you know what, I can do this too. So they have just done a, uh, they, have, they, have, they have done so much more than I can have been, that I can have say to these children in terms of encouraging them. Their actions, as they say, speak louder than words. What changed within a year? Within a year, it, well, it was just a continuation. Um, the motivation. Last year, when they came first and they, then they came third in the zone, third in the champion of champions, they realized, you know what? They like the feeling of being recognized for their uh, achievements. And they realized that, you know what? We don't have to sit down and uh, watch others do it. They can come and try it as well. And so the younger ones, Zachary and the others, seeing children doing well it just somehow it breeds that motivation that that determination they want to remain on top so this year no i don't know what this has done for them but on only positive so we will see what next year holds but as i told them even if you don't emulate what has happened here this year once they give up their best we are satisfied you are boosted by the stand-up performances of course by ethan hart and zachary wall how important were these two young men to this victory they were pillars in our team, yes. Um, they have led by example. As older athletes in the group, they guide the children in terms of, yes, exercising, training. They actually go through some of the training. I allow them to do that. Sometimes I may sit down and let them uh, go through training routines with the boys. But in terms of encouragement, they have done a lot, as I said, by their running, by their determination, by showing up to practice, by being on time, by being disciplined, uh, they have done more for me than words can say. And uh, so now I have to go and hunt around for another Ethan Hart and Zachary Wall in another name. <laughs> Thank you so much and congratulations. No problem. Thank you very much.